my guest today is Robin Grant. And most people would say, okay, if you're working with at-risk kids, with homeless kids, you need to teach them job skills. You need to teach them this. this, this. And you went to a totally different place of creative uh, experiences. Is, what was it that, that inspired that, that made you say that that's something that that's, they needed and why? Because it goes back to the self as being the, um, being the source of this. It's not like you need these tools. It's like you have all the tools and you can create them yourself. So we would take, there would always be products from these workshops. So there'd be a play or there'd be a newspaper, or there'd be creative writing anthologies or art. And they, we had Christmas art cards that were beautiful. Um, and then you get a certain um, commission of the sales based on, you know, if they were, we didn't sell the, the, the bummer troop things, but if we made money off it. It was a nonprofit. So we make sure that once the expenses were covered, they made money off it. So they would be motivated to create themselves. But again, it all came, it showed that they mattered. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about you have to take the system um, and what we tell you you need. Um, it was about, we need you. We need your ideas. We need what makes you different and you unique. And we'll apply that. So I think that was, that's something that everybody needs, but these young people in particular uh, needed and could resonate with and wouldn't reject, you know, because they intuitively knew it was healthy for them. It doesn't matter how important your, your vision or your purpose is. If, if that is all that there is, there is an imbalance. So what did you discover when you actually finally did step back off the roller coaster of that and, and get back time for Robin? Yeah. Oh, that's a really good question. Um, well, what was interesting is that the organization was called for the love of learning because I do love to learn. And I, I would say that was the most important lesson I learned. Um, you know, I was raised Catholic and I always thought, you know, I had this idea of what a good person was and I wanted to be a good person. And of course I was and always have been. Um, I really thought it had to be with self-sacrifice um, and um, selflessness. And um, I had to really run the, um, really take it to its very, the end of the path, you know, as far as it could go, to realize that that was actually, there was a major, major um, fault to that sort of logic. So essentially, I think that, um, that really to serve the world best and to, um, to be the most productive and to help those that you love, those around you and just anybody, is to really help yourself. And I don't mean, you know, steal from people or take advantage of people or anything like that. You can still be a really good person. But if you're not looking after yourself 100%, um, it's going to be felt um, in the world around you. It's certainly going to be felt by you.